Assalamu alaikum, my name is Adar. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Sasa. Hello, Assalamu alaikum, my name is Muna. I um, do a lot of things at TDS, but what I'm most popularly known as being the host of the Digital Sisterhood podcast. Um, I am terrible at introductions, but that's my bread and butter. That's the area I really just thrive in. Assalamu I am uh, the producer of the Digital Sisterhood podcast and the co-founder of Beautiful Life Studios, uh, the production company. My name is Hassan Abdullahi, and I am the sales and marketing lead for the Digital Sisterhood. Basically, I try to put TDS on the map. Yeah. I, <laughs> at least I'm trying. Yeah. It, I like to describe it as a synergy. I, when we tell our story about how all this started is that we all had, we were doing different things um, and Allah brought us together for us to amplify what we're doing because it was very similar. I, I feel like everybody sits in their living room and they have a podcast, you know? <laughs> I think that's, this is the human thing uh, in which we want to tell our stories, we want to share. It was during the pandemic and we didn't have too many opportunities to go to the masjid go to our regular halaqas, connect with sisters at all of that time. And it started to affect me um, because I'm a very extrovert person. I love to be in community. All of a sudden it was taken. And so I just felt like, how do I keep like my energy up? How do I keep my iman? How do I continue to be able to be inspired if I'm isolated in my room? And so for me, it was coming from a place of, I wish, I, I wish this wasn't the case. And also recognizing how many more women feel the way that I do. I started to see, whoa, like this sort of, this type of storytelling could be a huge platform for Muslim women to tell their stories because for a long time, the only way people interacted with Muslim women is through their visuals, what they look like, right? And so and we're sitting here going like, we're so much more than the color of my hijab or the style, or what I do. There was a missing gap. When 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 other um, you know and when I decided to sort of uh, start this endeavor and that missing gap is no one was listening to our stories uh, at the essence of what it is human stories right we're always looked at Muslim women um, hijabi women and we wanted to strip all that away and listen to intimate human stories and connect with us on a more deeper level and I feel like that's what the podcast has been doing Alhamdulillah. If you ask me, like, what exactly are you trying to do? I said, I'm trying to make room. Um, and the place, places I've ever seen room being made was in creative spaces, mm -hmm. where is somebody's making something, they're asking, hey, how do you want to contribute to this? Is when you show someone something's possible, people stop uh, limiting their voices, shutting themselves down before someone else does. Because sometimes we shut ourselves down as a form of protection of ourselves and the people that we love. Mm -hmm. So I even used to have my mother um, tell me, don't talk. Like, why, why do you think um, your voice is needed? Because it was more of like, don't put yourself as a target out there. You know, for us, alhamdulillah, we've been blessed with, with the platform, but I think any woman who tomorrow wants to start something and create space, even if one person reaches out to her and says, I felt seen, I felt heard, then that's it. You've done what you can. You don't have to influence everyone, mm -hmm. right? But just you taking that bold move and that courage to step forward and providing a space for other women, alhamdulillah, you're doing khair. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, kudos to you. <laughs> <laughs> but this work requires it, you know, and that's what sincerity looks like. It's like, if I don't have all the cards. I don't actually know exactly what I'm doing all the time. You know, there's things I'm still waiting for Allah to tell me and show me, you know? Um, and so that has been the most interesting journey. And it's really just a journey of what it means to have trust. I'm learning what tawakkal actually means. And I recognize that, like, it's just moments of I don't know and just saying Allah knows and that's enough today. You know, like that's something I had to that's enough. All of this belongs to Allah. Mm. We're just custodians, mm -hmm. you know, and so and there's there's so much beauty in it. And and in it there's so much relief too. It truly God showing his power and truly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just showing that, you know, when you do something and you do it authentically and you do it with a sense and an intention to help people. Like our slogan for a very long time was if one person feels less alone, like we have done our job.